Welcome to this ZenWorks video demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how to implement and maintain device patching in the management zone by doing the following from the Getting Started page for mitigating vulnerabilities. Configuring patch policy enforcement. Scheduling patch related reboot behavior. Creating and assigning a patch policy to manage devices. Creating a patch tracker. And finally, monitoring patch compliance via the tracker and other patch-related dashlets. To get started, we'll begin under Patch Policy Settings on the Mitigating Vulnerabilities page and click the Configure Enforcement Schedule link. The default setting is for applying patches manually. For demonstration purposes, we're going to change this setting so any applicable patches are applied automatically upon device refresh. Typically, you would configure a schedule that aligns with your organization's patching policy. Some patches require a reboot to finish installing. The default setting disables the automatic reboot, completing the patch installation only after a user initiates a reboot. We'll change the option to force a reboot if needed, and leave the option to prompt the user to initiate the reboot. With the patch policy enforcement and reboot settings configured, we're ready to create our patch policy. But before we do that, let's first take a glance at our patch compliance. If we click View Device Patch Compliance, we're taken to the Patch Dashboard, where we can access the Device Patch Compliance Dashlet to view compliance information for all managed devices. This dashlet is based on the settings configured in the Dashboard and Trending page of the Security Configuration. The default setting requires 100% of critical patches be applied to a given device for that device to be compliant. We'll use this Windows 10 device that was recently added to the zone as an example for how patch compliance changes when implementing a patch policy. Notice that the device is currently at 40% compliance. We'll come back to this dashlet after creating and applying the patch policy to see how our compliance has changed. We'll now create the patch policy. At this time, we are going to add two filters that allow us to include all Windows 10 patches that have an impact of critical. The Recalculate After 30 Days option instructs ZenWorks to check every 30 days for new patches that meet the criteria and add them to the policy. At the same time, any patches in the policy that have been superseded by another patch are removed from the policy. We'll also turn on the Rebuild Policy on Creation option, which automates the rebuilding of the patch bundle used to distribute the patch policy's patches whenever the policy is recalculated. If we don't enable this option, we would need to manually rebuild the policy after every recalculation. After completing the policy, we're brought back to the Getting Started page, where we'll click Assign Patch Policy. From here, we'll select the policy and use the Assign to Device action to locate and assign applicable devices. After assigning the policy, we can also access the Action menu to publish the policy. We'll leave the default option to Publish as a new version. We've refreshed our assigned device and given the patch policy time to go into effect. Now we'll emphasize the quick links in the Maintain Device Patching section on the Getting Started page that can help us monitor the patch process and take further action if needed. We'll go to our Device Patch Compliance Dashlet a second time and save a new dashlet that is specific to our Windows Workstation devices. If we look at our Windows 10 device after the patch policy is enforced, we can already see that all applicable critical patches have been cached for installation. The last option to cover in the Maintain Device Patching section in the Getting Started page is the Create Patch Tracker link. This link takes us to the Security Dashboard, where we find the default dashlets for monitoring and tracking CVEs and tracking patches. For this demonstration, 
we want to create a patch tracker that tracks the current month's Windows 10 updates. We'll first configure the dashlet by adding patches, and then we'll apply our desired filters. Here, we can search for specific types of patches, group select patches, or individually select patches, and even remove individual patches that we've already selected. Once we name the configuration and apply the configuration, the device details for the selected patches are displayed in the dashlet. At any time, with the dashlet expanded, we can select devices to run a new scan on those devices or execute a deploy remediation to manually apply patches to those devices. After we've completed the configuration, we still need to save the dashlet to our desired dashboard pages. For now, we'll leave the default setting for the security dashboard. When the dashlet is collapsed, we can get a quick reading by mousing over the graph indicators for summary data, or we can click on the dashlet to open the full page. As we return to our dashlets the following morning, we can see that critical patches are now installed because our targeted device is now 100% compliant. Also, if we check our patch tracker in the security dashboard, the cumulative updates were also installed according to our patch policy which is evident in the graph by the Windows platform showing one of one patched and the total reading showing there are zero unpatched devices. In this video, we've demonstrated the quick link options you can execute to maintain device patching from the Getting Started page for mitigating vulnerabilities, to include configuring patch policy settings, creating and assigning a patch policy, and then monitoring patch status through specific patch dashlets. For more information about using Zenworks security products, view other Getting Started videos or see the Zenworks documentation page. Thanks for watching.